The Story Guide is designed to be the place for new users to start with Dramatica. Its purpose is to introduce you to all of Dramatica's key concepts and then as quickly as possible take you from concept to completion of a finished treatment. When you click on the Start Here button, you're given a choice, a 50-question Quick Start Path or a 250-question Advanced Story Guide Path. The Quick Start questions are all contained in the Advanced Story Guide Path anyway, so my suggestion is always to begin with a Quick Start Path because then later you can further develop your story should you choose. The problem with the Story Guide creatively is that it insists that you create a structure first and then develop that structure and storytelling second. So, if you're an inspirationist writer who likes to follow the muse, jot down some ideas, maybe even write a draft before you begin, then play around with your storytelling until you're saying things just the way you want, and finally find and refine the structure in that story, well, this is not going to work very well for you, and new users who are inspirationist will come here and be incredibly frustrated. But if you're a structuralist, who likes to create a story structure first and then develop the storytelling to implement that structure as real people, places, and events, the story guide will work just fine for you. The story guide path is, however, very easy to follow. It's divided into eight sections and you go through them in order one by one. Each section has telling questions about your story's structure and later storytelling. For example, under Main Character Choices is the main character's resolve, which is going to be either change or steadfast. Does your main character change like Scrooge in A Christmas Carol, or remain steadfast like Dr. Richard Kimball in The Fugitive? Every main character is either going to grow to the point of change or grow in their resolve to stick by their guns. If you don't make this choice for your story, your story's structure will be weaker. To help you make choices in the story guide, there's an explain button which describes the basic question in a little more detail, a theory button which tells you dramatically why this question is here in the first place, what impact is it going to have, a usage button which gives you some real examples of how this particular dramatic item was used, if you've done any storytelling first elsewhere in the program for this story point, it'll show up here. The Help button tells you how to use this particular question, what buttons to push, what they do. Definition, if you check either one of these options, it'll give you a complete definition of what that term means and how it's used, so it'll help you make the choice. The Context button puts that particular item into use in some dramatic scenarios, short little one-line descriptions. And the Stories button will go through Dramatica's database of examples and take all of the examples that share, in this case, a main character who changes, and list them so you can compare the choice of change with these stories and say, yeah, that's what I want for my story. My story feels like Charlotte's Web, or The Client, or The Crucible, or The Godfather, or my story feels more like Clockwork Orange, or all that jazz. The main character in each of these remains steadfast as opposed to changing. Using the Help View buttons and going step by step through the story guide is a great way to introduce yourself to Dramatica. But again, if you're an inspirationist who wants to follow the muse first, this is not going to be very comfortable for you. Still, for almost everyone, I recommend you at least take a look at the story guide, recognizing its limitations, and see if you want to follow it through for your first story just to get a feel for how Dramatica works.